What if your next medical implant could be printed on demand onto your skin and then eaten? No wires, no chips, no waste. Today we're diving into the edible printable biocircuit paste developed by the researchers at Bits Pilates. This has potential to change the future of medicine, wearables, and espionage? Let's look at what they got. I'm Ben, this is Physics or Bust. The technology is called FinCup, which stands for Food-Based Nanoconductive Paste. At its core, it's a conductive bioink. It's designed for wearable and edible medical devices. A paste made from materials like edible activated carbon, natural binders like gum arabic, and trace mineral salts that enhance its electrical properties mixed into an oral rehydration solution to make a paste, which is a water-based medium and then combined with nanoparticles that can support electron flow. When printed onto the skin or an edible substrate, the paste solidifies into a flexible, low-voltage electronic circuit. The team designed it so that the circuit could operate safely under human physiological conditions, meaning it works even with the moisture and salts on your skin or in your saliva. And because it's made with edible, biocompatible materials, it's entirely digestible. At first glance, you might wonder, why did it take until 2025 to make an edible, printable circuit? The truth is, scientists have been chasing this idea for over a decade. But they kept running into some nasty physics and biology roadblocks. Let's start with the basics. A circuit needs to do two things. Conduct electricity and stay in a stable pattern or pathway. But when your material also needs to be edible, non-toxic, biodegradable, and flexible, your list of usable ingredients shrinks dramatically. Early bioinks tried to use metallic nanoparticles, like silver or copper, but those can cause toxicity, allergic reactions, and long-term health risks if swallowed or embedded in the skin. Plus, they're not digestible. What the Bitspilani team figured out was a non-metallic, carbon-based conductive matrix. They used activated carbon, the same safe material used in poison treatments, as well as natural binders like gum arabic, and added salts in order to improve the ionic conductivity. The result? A soft, skin-safe material that can conduct electricity at the millivolt levels. So how does this paste actually conduct electricity if there's no copper or silver? Good question. Let's zoom in. In this paste, electrons don't move through rigid wires like in traditional circuits. Instead, current flows through what's called a percolation network, a mesh of microscopic carbon particles that are close enough that electrons can jump from one to the other. Think of it like a big kid's ball pit, where a marble falling through is constantly touching one ball or another as it moves down because of gravity. In this case, it's uh, moving because of the voltage, but it's constantly in contact with one carbon atom or another as it goes its way through. This type of conduction, often called tunneling or hopping con conduction, isn't as fast as in metal, but it works fine for low-power applications like temperature or glucose sensors. It turns out the real hurdle wasn't just discovering the materials, it was getting them to work together reliably. Previous attempts at edible electronics failed for a few reasons. The circuits washed off too easily or broke down in sweat and saliva. The resolution was too coarse for even basic components. The electrical signal degraded after just hours because of ion leakage or biocontamination. But most importantly, stability and safety weren't guaranteed. You can't just roll out a tech that sticks to the skin of toddlers or is inside someone's gut without testing every interaction. Bits Palani's FinCob succeeded by balancing all these factors. Their innovation wasn't just in the chemistry, but in the formulation. They optimized the ratio of binder to nanoparticle, tuned the pH to prevent degradation, and applied a layer-by-layer -layer deposition technique that helps the paste solidify in seconds without the need for other heat or UV. And here's what makes this paste different from anything before it. You don't need a laser printer or clean room. A simple inkjet or even a modified ballpoint pen can lay down a working circuit. And it adheres to skin, fruit, or packaging without the need for a primer. Once printed, it works for about three days and then breaks down into safe, biodegradable compounds. 
That's a huge leap for developing countries in field medicine where you might need diagnostic tools to print it on site with little to no infrastructure. So when I say this breakthrough is revolutionary, I don't mean that it's just clever. It's finally practical. A whole bunch of breakthroughs had to line up in order for us to get here. Biocompatible nanoparticles, better binding chemistry, and the physics of low voltage charge transport through soft matter. And now it's finally at our fingertips. Or on them. The possibilities here are wild. Let's look through some of the real world applications the research team is already exploring. First up, medical diagnostics. Printed circuits on the skin could monitor hydration, glucose levels, and detect inflammation. Once done, they could be safely dissolved or possibly ingested for even further biomarker readings from within the body. Second, temporary wearables. Need a health tracker for the day? Just print it on. When you're done with it, wash it off. Next, child health monitor. Because it's non-toxic, FinCop could be used to make baby-safe medical monitors or even emergency ID patches. Last, food packaging. Edible sensors could be printed directly on the packaging or the food itself to help detect spoilage and contamination. Imagine, your yogurt lid might one day light up to tell you that uh, it's going bad. Now, even though this breakthrough is great, there is still some room for improvement. The pace is only durable enough to last three or four days max only has the capability to deal with low power or low data uses, is sensitive to moisture and friction, and the current resolution is very limited. Fine structures are much harder to print. Cheap disposable biocircuits sound great, but here's where it gets a little darker. While the applications to this are incredible, there's a darker side to this that needs some serious discussion. Imagine ingesting an edible circuit without knowing. It's possible it could deliver a dose of medication or poison triggered remotely, or track someone's biological signals without them being aware of it. A modified version of the paste could deliver illegal performance-enhancing drugs or untested gene therapy directly into the bloodstream when activated. Now, I'm not saying that these things are in the works or even feasible at this point. I'm just saying that we need to be careful. Because even great innovations, put to the wrong purpose, can have some devastating effects. Those are just a couple possible abuses that came up when researching this. The idea of an edible, printable circuit may sound like science fiction, but Bits Polani is making it reality. Whether it becomes a household tool for health, or a new layer in the cybersecurity and biosecurity debate, depends on the management of its rollout. What are your thoughts about biocircuits that you can wear, swallow, or wash down the drain? Useful or dangerous? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd like this book. I have an affiliate link in the description below. I do get a small commission, but it doesn't cost you any extra. For more space science and tech news, remember to like and subscribe. And remember, keep asking questions. I'll see you on the next video.